Hey y'all, it's Shayla and I'm back with another video and I'm just gonna jump right into it because let's just talk about it. Y'all see the title, y'all know what we're talking about. We are here for this baby right here. Not just this, I got other things in the collection but I'm just really excited about this. Um, I feel like this palette is amazing and you guys will get to see me use it to create this look. I don't want to make this intro any longer than it needs to be. I'm a little rocky and shaky with the whole makeup tutorials because I haven't done one in a long time. But other than that, you guys, let's just jump straight into the video. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Jump right in. I'm priming my eyes with the NYX eyeshadow base um, first. I'm going to be honest, I kind of don't know what kind of eye look I'm going to do. Um, I originally thought I was going to do a halo eye, but um, I did that already. So this is actually the second time that I'm filming this. The first time that I filmed this video, I was still having an allergic reaction um, on my eyes. So it didn't look that great when I went to take like the final pictures um, with my eyes and stuff closed. The skin on my eyes just, it wasn't pretty. So this is actually the second time I'm filming this video. Um, and I did a halo eye already with this palette and it was, it was cute. Um, but I'll be honest, I'm still a little worried. So I live right next door to a school and of course as soon as I started filming they started talking over the intercom. So we're going to do a brief little voice over talk through combo because yeah there's kids talking in the background. Next I'm going into my crease with Culture using a Morphe R37 brush and windshield wiper motions and I'm making sure to just dust this throughout my entire crease so that I have a really good transition shade and something to build off of. Using the same R37 brush and same windshield wiper motions, I'm deepening my crease with a color called Revenge. And I'm making sure to make this more of a wash of a color all the way, but also concentrating more on the outer corner because I want to build the color up more there. Okay, so I think the loud shenanigans are over with. So we have... Um, Revenge in our crease. Next, going in with the M433, I'm going to go in with Played Out. And that too is going to go in my crease, but I'm going to build it starting on the outer and just working my way in. But we are taking this all the way across. And I'm kind of holding the brush a little more flat so that you can still see that orange color because I don't want the orange to disappear. Now that I have um, played out in my crease, you can see that there's like a gradient transition. I've blended everything. I'm gonna go back in with my, um, it's a concealer brush. This is actually a Sonia Kashuk brush, but it came in a set, so there's no numbers, and it's really, really old. I've had this brush for years. Actually, I think this is like my first set of brushes, to be honest with you guys. So I am going to put concealer on my lids. So next, going in with another Sonia Kashuk brush, it's the number 110 brush. It's a concealer brush, but I like to use it for like shimmer colors or any color that I really, really want to see the payout off of. So I'm going in with 14. It's this pretty blue color here. And I haven't wet this brush yet. I just want to see how 14 pays off before I like spray it with Fix Plus or anything like that. My nose is running. Sorry, guys. And just by putting this brush in this shadow we can i don't think i'm gonna need to wet it guys so we're just gonna go ahead and place this on our lid Ooh, yes so so far the pigmentation in this palette has been really good um but i'm not surprised because i've used um color pops crushed shadows before so I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew I kind of had expectations for the pigmentation and the color payoff to be really good. One of my favorite shadows and eyeshadow looks to do is with another color pop palette that I have. It's the color Water Bearer. It's that really pretty turquoise color that's in the Kathleen Lights. 
palette. I really, really like the color payoff from that. So I, I knew what I was getting myself into. I am going to go back with a Morphe 210 and it's just a regular flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pack more color onto this. So now going back in with that same Morphe M433 that we used earlier for our crease was played out. I'm using the same brush, same color, and I'm going to press into my outer corner just to start to smoke this look out a little bit. Just going to tap that color onto our outer corner and then blend it all out and take it just halfway into the crease. And I'm actually going to also use the M514 for Morphe as well to really concentrate that color on the outer corner because we don't really want it to go anywhere. Because I'm extra and I just can't, you know, let stuff alone. I'm going to use a Morphe E18 brush and I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to, I want to say Diva or TF. I actually almost said what TF stood for. <laughs> Censorship. Um, we're going to start with Diva and if Diva's not bright enough, then we're going to go over it with TF. But we're going to do a little pop. You know what? Just kidding. We're not. We're going to do Diva. And if Diva isn't what I want it to be, I know what we're going to do. So put this in our inner corner. Boom, pal. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I have like the literally, I can't say the word diva without automatically starting to sing Beyonce's diva in my head. Like, what? It's cute, but I feel like it could be cuter. So I'm going to go ahead and do my liner and my lashes off camera. I feel like wing liner and lashes, like, you guys don't need to see that. Y'all know what to do. If you don't, I'll make a video. Let me know if you want to see a video on how to do wing liner. I'm pretty sure I also have a video on a mini tutorial on my Instagram, but whatever. We could do one here too. Let me know if you want to see one, if not. But in the meantime, all right, we back. So as we know, <laughs> Shayla also, full collection. So outside of the palette, we have highlight. I got Boomin. I do want Pose, but it's sold out at the moment. So we're going to go ahead in with Boomin on the face. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long. I'm sorry if this seems... Phone's been getting on nerves. As I was saying, I'm sorry if this seems a little all over the place because I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long. I don't, I feel out of place because it's been hair. Hair be popping, y'all see? We popping around here. Morphe R36. We're gonna, we're gonna highlight this face real quick. I wanna keep it kind of high though. So right up in there. Y'all. Ooh. Metro booming on a beat. That is so pretty. Like, and I was a little worried because, sorry, I was a little worried because it is more yellow, like a yellow kind of highlight versus a darker, like copper kind of like pose is. I was a little worried because of my skin tone, but this looks so good. Like, I do need to blend it up a little more, I won't lie. But overall, like, it's so pretty. Okay, and last, but definitely not least, is the lips. I did get the lip gloss, which is a Neat Freak. It's called Neat Freak. And then I got one of the lipsticks. This one is called Quickie. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is Quickie. I love the packaging on their new lipsticks. It's, it's, it's like it has weight to it it's a very weighted um solid packaging and it's really cute it's like a rose gold color and they have stars on them i do like the packaging on this i'm wondering if because the packaging doesn't have the splatter like all of the rest of her packaging i'm wondering if they're going to keep this around like even after um like, you know, sometimes collabs end or whatever. I'm wondering if they're going to keep this around because, and since it has the regular packaging. I hope so because this lipstick is really good. So I'm going to, I don't have BFF3 and that's usually what Shayla uses for 
her nude lipsticks either that or cork and cork is way too light for me so i have toast lip liner by nyx and i also have cappuccino lip liner by nyx so we're gonna see which one works best i'm starting off with toast though it is a little bit lighter of a color toast actually is the same color as my natural lip line now ooh is the lighter of the two nudes I'm, I'm sorry quickie is the lighter color of the two nudes i want ooh as well so it does have like a matte a semi-matte finish i don't say matte it's like a semi-matte finish for my fellow chocolate girls please don't wear this lip stick without a liner like don't do it don't do it to yourself and we're going to the neat freak gloss <laughs> on top keeping it mostly in the center though So I just decided right now at the very last minute that I wanted to smoke out my under eye. I already did this one, so we're going to do the left one. I'm using, this is a smudger brush that I don't know where I got it from, but I'm going in with Played Out. And we're putting this right in our waterline. Give this smoke that look. And then I'm taking the M507 that I was talking about earlier with Revenge, and I'm actually mixing a little bit of uh, Thick, so Thick and Revenge, tapping off that excess, and we're going to put that right underneath, played out. I just really love orange under the waterline. I'm actually going to do it on the side too. Like, oh, look how it brought that whole look together. Like, so bomb. So bomb. And to just, you know, spice it up a little bit, going back in with Boomin and our same E18 brush, I'm going to make these inner corners pop for real, girl. Yes, honey. Tap off the excess. I need it in my eye. Don't need it in the eye. Yeah, that definitely, a little goes a long way for sure with this highlighter, but that really just pulled everything together. All right, guys, so you guys have seen me pull this look together. Um, let me know what you guys think about the look below. I will say that I am very, very pleased with this palette and the pigmentation and everything in it. I feel like Shayla picked really great colors. It is a very versatile palette. Um, it gives you neutrals, it gives you pops of color, of course it gives you your transition shades. Um, I do uh, know and feel like it is, you know, black girl friendly, of course, because Shayla is a black girl. She's a queen right along with us. Um, I honestly, I can agree, if you guys have watched Jackie Ina's video, I can agree that this is basically a mini Jaclyn Hill palette with the mirror that we deserved in that palette but didn't get. Um, <laughs> This palette literally gives you, like I said, your neutrals and stuff. So I'm trying not to blind you guys. It gives you your neutrals and stuff on this side and pops of color. I decided to go with pop of color for today. Um, this is kind of like a nighttime look. I don't know where I'm going. It's first Friday. Maybe I'll step out tonight. Ooh, almost dropped my palette. But again, I love the color payoff in this palette. Like I mentioned before, I have used ColourPop shadows, so I knew what to expect with that. This lip gloss lipstick combination like I need to order a couple of more couple of more I need to order a couple more in case they do sell out because this is like the perfect nude for my skin tone and why not stock up before they go out right this highlight definitely booming she knew what she was doing with that I do again want to try pose because it is a little darker but this is very um pigmented the color payoff is great i'm i'm liking it even on my nose especially considering that lately i haven't been doing too much of a highlight so for me actually i'm gonna agree that pose i'm sorry not pose i'm gonna agree that booming probably was a good purchase for me even though i thought i was buying pose 
long story you guys don't care but for me booming really is a good highlight because I'm still more so on the subtle thing I kind of stopped doing the whole like pop in blinding highlight but this is this is good for me I like this I still want to try the other one <laughs> why not right for seven dollars and you get this whole product like this is gonna last me a really really long time it's not like foundation or mascara where you have to toss it I'm sure so seven bucks i might as well get the other one as well anyway i don't have anything else to tell you guys other than thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i love all of you guys so very much stay beautiful stay true stay you and i will see you next time bye